Thanks for uh, tuning in. Here we've got a Pro 2 Cat 6 lead. Now, the objective of Pro 2 and where we fit into the mix is, is probably the first thing that needs to be discussed. Cat 6 leads, like Cat 6 A leads and like Cat 5 E leads, will have a standard. Um, and our objective in Pro 2 is to exceed the standards by the maximum amount possible. So we talk about three categories being um, cables that will allow for no headroom. They will exactly meet the standard, not an extra dollar is spent on the cable. Um, it, it's great in the sense of it saves on costs. It's bad in the sense of there's no margin for error. So if you're randomly tested and your, your product fails the, the parameters, well, if it's a, an important job, you don't want to risk it uh, using one of those cables. People that want to save money will often go for one step up, which is a margin on all parameters. Um, and these cables will, they will again, not, not try to spend too much money on making the cable, and they'll allow a margin so that if they're randomly checked, um, they'll, exceed, they'll exceed the standard by a small margin. Uh, the third category is exceeding the standards by the highest margin possible and uh, that's where the Pro 2 fits in to, to prove uh, the point we, we put all our test reports online. Those test reports are from the industry standard uh, meter which is called a, a Fluke DTX 1800 and you'll notice on the Cat 6 cable um, those standards are exceeded significantly. The, um, the cross torque of the next um, is exceeded by a minimum of 2.4 dB um, and um, the return loss to show the quality of the connectors is exceeded by a massive 5.3 dB. So we're almost double um, what, what the requirement is of, of the standard. So how do we do it? There's a few things. The conductors at the end there's um, two ways of doing it. There's gold plating and there's flash gold. So flash gold is two, is three to six microns in thickness, uh, while gold plating is up to a maximum of 15 micro, 50 microns that you'll see in the industry. Um, 50 microns is what Pro 2 use. Uh, advocates of, of spending the money here will say that the, the importance is long-term use. So while the test report for a um, flash gold connector uh, will often be around the same as, as, a, as a properly made um, patch lead. The issue is over time. So gold has the quality of being conductive and non-corrosive. And so over time, um, a connector that um, is flash gold, the quality will degrade, while one that has proper gold plating uh, will maintain the product quality. Uh, you'll notice, as with all Pro 2 leads, there's a strain relief on the lead. The Cat 6 is obviously a thicker, a thicker lead than the Pro 2 Cat 5, um, which allows for the higher bandwidth of um, 250 meg. Uh, you'll also um, know that the Pro 2s always the, the PVC is flame retardant because that's what the standards are, and we post that again online. Um, very important that you make sure that any manufacturer has flame retardant PVC. It's an extra cost again that goes into the cable. Uh, finally, the inner conductors have to be pure copper, um, so all Pro 2s pure copper. The alternative, if you want to save a few dollars, is to go CCA or copper clad aluminium. Uh, again, you can exceed standards using CCA, but long term use is where you have the issue. So CCA is more brittle, so when we start bending, pulling, straining, you'll find that there'll be there'll be cable failure at that point, whereas copper being a malleable uh, metal, it will uh, it'll cope with wear and tear a lot better than what the, um, what the aluminium does. So in summary, we spend the money on the, on the conductors, on the cable that's on the inside, on the PVC on the outside, and obviously on the strain relief.